Good morning. This is my latest blog, and I'm 10, 10 days out today from my competition. Um, the next 10 days are going to be a blur of activity, getting ready for uh, Saturday, the 17th. Um, I need to get things like my teeth bleached, um, my nails done, my hair trimmed. Um, I ordered my tan. Um, I'm going with uh, Phil Kabakoff from Australia this year um, due to the fact that Liquid Sunrays is not going to be at this t at this show and um, I love Marilyn's tan. It's a great tan but she's not going to be there so I'm going to do my own um, and Phil's tan is gorgeous. Really deep mahogany um, I look like an, an old, old piece of teak at the end of the application. Um, so I have that, and today, in the next couple of days, I need to find a, a black cotton dress that's not too expensive because it gets tossed in the trash after the competition. Uh, the tanning product just is filthy. You rub off on everything you touch, everybody you touch. So I have to be very careful when I'm when I've got that stuff all over me. Um, black clothing is all I'm going to wear from Thursday through Sunday, and um, needs to be able to just toss in the trash because it's just ruined. Um, have to make sure I take my dark brown uh, linens with me to the hotel, uh, so I don't rub off on their nice white sheets. Oh. Even being really careful, it still gets on there a little bit. Um, tip the maid heavily for the bathroom because that's after you shower and get that stuff off, it just it's everywhere. But um, you have to be careful with people you hug because it comes off onto other people in their clothing. So anyway, it's just a mess. But it's all part of the experience, and you have to be really deep tan in order to see. Um, all the lovely hard work that you've done when you get on stage. So, some of the things that um, that are going on the next two weeks is that I'm really hungry um, and I'm tired. Um, but the hungry part, it just kind of it, it wears on you after a while, and especially not knowing if you're if you're lean enough. Um, if you're too lean, um, this this whole new division of women's physique is it's it's so new that you don't really know how to prepare for it. You're not quite sure what the judges are looking for. Um, the girls that were chosen last year at the amateur level, uh, just the a whole spectrum of of looks, a variety of muscularity and definition, and so I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm just going to go in and give them the best package that I can give them that day and have a good time. I get to perform my posing routine. This is a regional level show. I haven't done a regional level show since 2007. And um, you always have to have a posing routine set to choreographed music. Um, I've had one for every competition since then and have never been able to actually perform it on stage due to the fact that you have to be in the top five in order to perform your evening performance on stage. I've not yet made that top five. I think t the eighth place was the best I did at the USA. But regardless, you still have to come in prepared just in case. So I will get to perform um, a 60 second posing routine. It'll be fun. I've got a great song picked out and I had a Kristen Shinawa helped me with my choreography for this and it's it's fun and cute and hopefully the crowd will like it. And I got some girlfriends going, Nilai and Judith and the, her sisters and my mom and my aunt and so I've got a whole reading section this year and that makes it fun too. So, my friends at the gym have been so positive. My gymnazo friends, um, they're all giving me 
you know, lots of motivation. The instructors are motivating and positive, and I, I enjoy everybody's feedback, and it, it helps get you through when you're hungry and tired. So a couple of things that really saved me, and I wanted to share this with you, two things that I can name right off my head. Um, egg whites, superfood, my champion, egg whites. You can do anything with egg whites. They're low calorie, they're high protein, no carbs. You can make them whatever you want them to be. Um, I usually have a couple of these pancakes floating around in my lunchbox. Um, I make them sweet usually because that's usually what I want is something sweet. Um, when your body's just starving for carbohydrates, it turns on that sweet uh, craving, telling you it's time to eat carbs. Well, I have to ignore it and give it zucchini. <laughs> so in order to get my sweet fix, I take about five or six ounces of egg white. I put it in a shaker jar. I add some stevia powder, which is a sweetener that's herbal and has no carbs or calories. Um, I put a little cinnamon and uh, a flaxseed meal, about five grams, uh, gives it a little fat. And then usually, depending on my carb intake for the day, I will do either two tablespoons of oats or um, 20 grams of dry oats, which would be, if you cooked it, a quarter cup of oatmeal. So that changes the whole carb ratio, and you can kind of play with that depending on what you need. And you brown it up on each side, put a little spray in, it, in a, a pan and brown it on each side. They travel well. You put, can put them in a container, make as many as you like. They're, like I said, low calorie and um, they taste like a treat. I take them to the coffee shop and, you know, eat them in lieu of somebody else having a pastry, you know, and I, I can have my egg white pancake. Aside from that, they look strange and, you know, generally people want to know, what are you eating? Um, it's kind of a conversation starter. So, egg whites. Um, do anything with them. If I'm craving something savory, I um, shred zucchini and use that in the egg white pancake and salt and pepper it instead of sweet. You can change it up however you like. You can do lots of things in the off season. I still use them. I just put berries, uh, blueberries. You can put pumpkin puree. I mean, honestly, it's endless and I have done everything with egg whites as I'm, I'm sure you will, you'll be curious and want to try it yourself, I'm sure. So that aside, I am a wine drinker, and when I'm on a diet, I can feel real sorry for myself that I can't have a glass of wine in the evening, because it's just a wonderful thing to set the evening nice and relax, and it kind of just ends the day on a nice dreamy note. So instead, I get Pellegrino, which is a sparkling water from Italy. The Italians are fabulous for lots of goodies. I put a slice of lime in. I put a little stevia powder, which has a wonderful reaction to mineral water. It just does this fuzzy thing like uh, Alka-Seltzer. It kind of fuzzes and put a little ice cubes in there and it tastes sort of like a little lime cocktail, sort of. <laughs> but it's refreshing and it's low calorie, well it has none no calories. So I don't know if you can order it out in a bar. I've not tried that yet. Usually just st strictly go with the Pellegrino. So that's a couple of things that I enjoy while I'm on a diet. And um, I have to go now. That'll do it for today. I have a, a class that I missed this morning. My son had a meeting. So I signed up for a later class and I need to get going to that now. So I will touch base with you soon and have a great day.